Geekai. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this super glittery, glowy Christmas holiday look that I have going on right here. I'm actually really super loving how it turned out. I just love all this glitter and highlight. Like nothing's stopping you from wearing glitter and highlight throughout the whole rest of the year. But the holiday Christmas time is definitely the time to bust out all those glitter and the glowy and the glamorous AF looks that you know you want to do throughout the year too. So now is the perfect time to get those looks going. I know this look could definitely benefit with some really fluffy or dramatic eyelashes right now but I, I don't actually have any so this is going to have to do but if you want to amp up this look and take it to the next level then you can definitely do that with some dramatic AF falsies so yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm Eyeshadow Palette. And for the glitter on the eyelids, I am using the Natasha Denona Glitter Eyeshadow in this palette. It's just the one eyeshadow I use from this palette, which is this one here. You could definitely use any other glitter eyeshadow that you wanted. You don't have to have the Natasha Denona eyeshadow from this palette to create this look. In fact, you're probably better off using cheaper glitter eyeshadows because I found that the, that glitter eyeshadow in this one left a whole lot of fallout on my face and it's ending up everywhere but on my actual eyelid. Like I'm finding it in my hair and I'm finding it everywhere on my desk. <laughs> so yeah, you could definitely use instead the Steel Up Magnificent Metals Glitter Eyeshadows or even some ColourPop Glitter Eyeshadows. You do not have to have a Natasha Denona Glitter Eyeshadow to create this look. That's my whole point. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do enjoy my videos, then please be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell if you wanna be notified of any of my future uploads because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. So yeah. That's it for my intro. I'm going to get straight into this video. I'm going to start with some concealer just to prime the eyes for the eyeshadow and get rid of a lot of that darkness that I have around here. I'm going to set that concealer down with some loose translucent powder just to provide a smooth base for the eyeshadows to blend on top of. Now I'm going to take a fluffy blending brush and go into the shade Rush in the Jaclyn Hill Ring the Alarm Morphe eyeshadow palette and blend that out into my crease. I'm just taking that shade from outer corner to inner corner and really just blending it out. Now taking a smaller blending brush, I'm going to go into that shade Secret and deepen out the outer corner of my eye with that shade. to go in with the same brush and go into the shade Framed and apply that in the same spot that I applied Secret. Now taking that first fluffy blending brush with no extra product, I'm going to use that to blend in these edges up here just to make it look a little bit more seamless and blended. Now I'm going to take some of this shade Alert and apply that really lightly just above here in the transition because I want a little bit more of that warm orangey shade to come through. Now I want to take some of this beautiful golden shade, it's called On Camera, and just take that with my finger and apply that to my lid. I'm 
just using my finger to blend that a little bit messily, not too messily, but just a little bit messily up above where my transition shade comes in, just above my lid here. So I'm not keeping it just entirely on my lid. I'm trying to blend it up above just where my crease comes here so that you can still see the shade. Now I'm going to go in with the star of the show and funnily enough I use that word because I'm actually going to be using the Natasha Denona Star Eyeshadow Palette and I'm really just going to be using one eyeshadow out of this palette. It's called Galaxia. It's just such an extra shade that I thought why not use this for a Christmas holiday look. I know Natasha Denona is a very pricey palette and not everyone will have this but you could use any glitter eyeshadow for this part of the look. I know Stila has some really great glitter eyeshadows that you could use. Colourpop Cosmetics has some beautiful glittery shadows that you could use instead of something from an expensive palette like this. There are so many more affordable dupes that you could find for this eyeshadow but I've just really really wanted to use this eyeshadow for some time so this is what I'm going to be using today. I'm just going to be taking some of that shade on my finger again as well and I'm going to be popping that on my lid on top of where I applied that first shade on camera. There's a lot of fallout on that one. You can see it's it's all over the palette. And now it's all over my face. Now I'm crying glitter. It's probably not a bad thing to cry. Uh, it looks like I have glitter dandruff. Now I'm just going in with some makeup remover to clean up under the eyes. I'm going to go in with the rest of my face, primer, foundation, concealer, bronzer, blush, off camera and then I'll be back and we will finish off the eyes. Okay now I'm back with my base on and I do have one thing to say about this glitter eyeshadow from the Natasha Denona Star Palette. Don't use it. <laughs> Not unless you want like glitter dandruff all over your face. As much as I try to remove the fallout of the glitter on the rest of my face, I do have glitter underneath my foundation and while glitter is uh, very reminiscent of holiday, Christmas, you know, sparklies. If you don't like glitter fallout all over your face, then don't use that eyeshadow. If you do want a glitter eyeshadow that doesn't fall out, that doesn't end up all over your face and um, in your hair, then use the Stila Magnificent Metal eyeshadows, the ones that look like this. The ones that look like this because these ones don't fall out, they stay put. I do like the rest of the eyeshadow palette, it's just that one eyeshadow that I feel like it, sh it ends up everywhere but where you first initially applied it. So anyway, enough of that, I'm going to finish off the eyes. Now I'm going to go in with a really defined tip brush. I'm going to take that into the shade Secret and pack that very closely to the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take a bit of a fluffier blending brush, take that into the shade Mugshot and fluff that out under the lower lash line. I want a little bit more brightness and bling on my waterline so I'm going to go in with this ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in the shade Dirty Talk. It's a really beautiful goldy colored eyeliner. I really think that this look would benefit from some really dramatic eyelashes and if you want to take it to the next level then you can go ahead and do that but I don't have any eyelashes on hand at the moment which is why I'm just going to leave it with mascara. And now to finish off this look it would not be complete without the full glam red lips and some really blinding highlight so that's what I'm going to do right now. The Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Mm, I love it. And now, just because I can and you can never have too much glitter, I'm going to go in with this Stila Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow and apply that in the center of my lips. I'm going to set 
set all of that in with some setting spray. This one is the Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. And this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. I hope you guys enjoyed this glittery AF Christmas holiday look. And if you did recreate it in any of your own holiday looks, please be sure to tag me on my social media. It's Life as Geek Guy on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love to see the looks that you came up with this year for the holiday season. So thank you for watching, thank you for your time, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.